Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys, Mom Vernon Kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing? Yay! Last fight for bracket four, just 11 more to go for section 10 to be complete. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the first two fights. Um, this is fight number 2041, and I put the likes of Jade, daughter of Alan Scott, Green Lantern, versus, drum roll please, drum roll please, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, one, two, one, two, one, two. Miss Monica Rabot, aka Photon. Yeah, Jade versus Photon. I thought about this fight. First of all, love both of these women. Highly underrated. And that's what I'm here for to educate a lot of you on some of these very unappreciative characters. And these two ladies are unappreciated and they're powerhouses nonetheless. So let's kick it off with none other than. Jade. All right. Now, as I told you guys, this is the daughter of Alan Scott, Green Lantern. But however, now that they rebooted Alan Scott, fat chance of seeing her now. Yeah, I'm a little pissed off about that. Um, Jade is, like I said, is the daughter of Alan Scott, the Golden Age Green Lantern, and her mother is Rose Canton. Rose Canton was this was she was uh, came known as this psych psychic psychotic villain known as rose thorn and somehow her and alan fell in love had got busy had kids and uh had uh jade or uh, jenny that's her real name and her brother todd who would become obsidian so get it jade and obsidian um and over time you know jade would be a very lovable character um, however, once Crisis came around, she was killed. Yeah, she died. Uh, and then they, for a long time, we didn't see her around for a long time. We, we, and then once Blackest Night came around, she was brought back to life. And she joined the reincarnated Justice League when, uh, Dick as Batman was leading that group and that was always cool I was glad to see she was around uh, then um, if you don't know which crisis I'm talking about it was uh, the Ran and Thardagarian war the uh, infinite crisis special number one that's where she died um, very very touching scene I remember that um, but Jade was always cool she was she's just a really really cool character um, one thing I also loved about Jade is her powers. Now, let's get into it. Now, she was a Green Lantern at a short time when she was powerless, but um, let me tell you a little bit about her power. Okay, Jade controls the power of the Star Heart, and this basically allows her to manipulate powers such as uh, entire spectrum of gravitation and light and heat and radiation. She also has the ability to create solid light constructs uh pretty much like a green lantern um she also is able to fly she can go intangible she can go a little bit invisible she produces a force field and that's a lot of that stuff is uh from the star heart and also grants her mental abilities like uh hypnosis hypnosis and things like that uh but she's a very very cool character and like i said it's gonna be sad now that she might not be in dc anymore so we move on to her combatant in this, and once again, another underrated, unappreciative character, and that is none other than Ms. Monica Rambeau, uh, aka Photon, aka Captain Marvel, uh, aka, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of names she's gone under. Um, okay, now, uh, Monica 
has worked with the Avengers for years. She even led a team known as Next Wave. She was a lieutenant in the New Orleans, New Orleans Harbor Patrol and fate came upon her one day and she was granted superpowers when she was bombarded by, uh, what was it, extra dimensional energy or something like that that uh, was produced by an energy distributor was created by some criminals or so. Um, and she originally used the name of Captain Marvel. Um, she first appeared in Spider-Man Annual, the Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 15, 16, excuse me. And Spider-Man introduced her to the Avengers where she went under more training with the Avengers. And at one point she even led the Avengers on two occasions. When she got injured, she took a seat back and uh, but she still became very well respected in that group and stayed with them as a reserve um, and she's she's always been a cool character very unappreciative um, and she uh, she's dated a lot of people like brother voodoo when he was the Sorcerer Supreme she teamed up with Black Panther to help uh, Panther uh, fend off a vampire outbreak in post Katrina New Orleans with an all black superhero team consists of Luke Cage, Blade, uh, Black Panther himself and Brother Voodoo um, and that was something that was always cool about her as well but just her leadership skills works well uh, she also helped uh, she entered hell with Black Cat and, and um, Firestar to get um, Hellcat from the hell zone now um photon's abilities basically she's able to change the aspect of electric electrical magnetic spectrum so pretty much light microwave heat waves gamma rays cosmic rays you know all that kind of rays whatever the form of the spectrum she absorbs that's kind of her power she's been able to manipulate um she was able to manipulate kyle rayner's green lantern ring during the uh, J J uh, Avengers JLA crossover, so she's very powerful, and I remember her do her doing that, and I was like, "Whoa, she's a major powerhouse," and that was something that I've always respected about Monica. Not just her leadership skills, but just the the main attributes of her powers. You know what I'm saying? Her powers are really cool, and I was like, "Man, she can just manipulate and absorb." those things and it gets really scientific in her abilities um but it's she's just a very very well respected character in my opinion not because she's african-american but just the concept of her character as well so in terms of a battle between these ladies first time meeting first time meeting first time battle bottom line no kind of you know homework on each other look the bottom line is like this. We'll take the typical hero versus hero mentality. You know, we, they fight it out for a while. They don't know each other. And then they come to know that they're on the same side. A misunderstanding. Um, so this is going to be a very powerful battle. Like, I can see this being a stalemate from time to time. Um, Jade is going to have to bring all the knowledge of the power of the Star Heart against the power of Photon, Monica's just vast mentality of all these these spectrums that she can manipulate and things like that like I said I only gave you a few I just gave you a few um but I don't see these girls killing each other I really don't um but it does come down to experience uh overall uh, aspect of one's power and it also comes down to what I like to say you know Who's going to capitalize on one's mistake first? Um, that's something that will always play a major factor in in this, in uh, in these battles, to me. But like I said, I don't see them killing each other. I can see Monica basically say, you know what, girl? Let's 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 stop this, okay? Let, let's stop this. You're good. I'll give you that. But we're we're evenly matched in the spectrum. So let's let's call it quits for somebody really gets hurt. And I can see Jade maybe following that too, you know, and saying, okay, no hard feelings, shake hands, let's get it over. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, Jade or Monica.
Rumbo, aka Photon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the last fight for bracket number four for section 10. Uh, 11 more fights to go, so I should be done with section 10 by next week. Um, so I will see you guys Monday with the next fights. And hell, I'll give you the fight right here. I'll give you one fight. Fight number 42. We'll put the likes of Bayonetta versus Zatanna. Okay, that is a request fight. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will leave the other two fights for just thinking who it is. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. And research the characters if you don't know anything about them. As always, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, guys. As always, you know the slogan, battle on.